Tonight, Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross fighting back after accusations he failed to disclose ties to a firm linked with top Russian oligarchs, including Russian President Vladimir Putin. I think it's just an example of the press trying to find anything they can, however remote or silly, to attack the president and somehow link him to Russia. This is nonsense. The leaked documents reviewed by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists shows Ross owns a stake in a shipping company, Navigator. One of their biggest customers is Seabor, a Russian oil firm owned in part by close associates of Putin's, including his son-in-law, and two other oligarchs who are targets of U.S. sanctions. Ross says he disclosed those business ties. It was disclosed on the Form 278, which is the financial disclosure form, in my case, three times. While Ross indicated he intended to keep his partnership with Navigator, he didn't disclose its connection to Seabor or Russia. I've asked for an inspector general investigation. I want all the facts from that investigation. Back in court today, Paul Manafort, whose request to get out of home confinement was denied. And increased scrutiny of ousted national security advisor Michael Flynn. Multiple sources familiar with the investigation tell NBC News federal investigators have gathered enough evidence to bring charges in their investigation of Flynn and his son Michael G. Flynn. All of it will be front and center with President Trump expected to meet with President Putin in Vietnam later this week. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.